Do you have a WordPress website and do you engage in email marketing using MailChimp, but you're not too sure how to connect both these platforms together? Well, today I'm going to help you grow your email list on MailChimp through your WordPress website. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. Today I'm going to dive into a brief tutorial that will guide you through how to connect both MailChimp and WordPress together quickly and with ease so that your website visitors can subscribe to your MailChimp email list directly through your WordPress website. Okay, so before we launch into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and connect your MailChimp account with your WordPress website. <music> Okay, so let's go ahead and connect your MailChimp account with your WordPress website so that your visitors that arrive on your website can sign up to your email list. To do this, simply sign into your MailChimp account or create a new free account. Once you've arrived inside MailChimp, simply navigate down to the bottom left hand corner and click on your account. Then simply navigate up to account and billing. Now, in order for us to connect our email list inside MailChimp with our WordPress website, we need to navigate up to Extras and then come down and click API Keys. Then simply navigate down to your API Keys and then locate Create a Key. Again, navigate down the page and all we need to do is copy this API Key over here. So go ahead and copy this API Key. Okay, so once you've copied the new API key that we just created inside MailChimp, now you need to log into your WordPress dashboard. Go ahead and do that and we'll meet you inside your WordPress dashboard. Okay, so once you've logged into your WordPress dashboard, simply navigate over to the left hand side and locate plugins and then click add new. Then navigate up to search plugins in the top right hand corner and type in MailChimp for WordPress. Then simply navigate down and locate this plugin over here called MC4WP MailChimp for WordPress. This one has over 2 million active installations. Make sure that it's compatible with your version of WordPress. Now it's best practice to back up your WordPress website before you go ahead and install any plugin. So if you're interested in learning how to take backups of your WordPress website and restore your website, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above that will guide you through the backup process. And again, this is not essential, this is just best practice. Then go ahead and click install now. Give WordPress a moment to install your new plugin and then click activate. Then once you've installed the new plugin, simply navigate down to the bottom left hand corner and locate MC4WP on the left hand side, then simply click MailChimp. Here all we need to do is navigate up to your MailChimp API key and remember we copied the API key that we created inside MailChimp, all we need to do is paste that same API key in here. Then simply click save changes just like that you have now connected your WordPress website with your MailChimp account. Now what we want to do is create a form to embed on our website so that we can start capturing our visitors, contact information and building our email list. And then what you can do is start engaging in email marketing activities. To create a new form to embed on your WordPress website simply navigate down to form under MailChimp on the left hand side and click here. Then simply navigate up to what is the name of your form and add the name of your new form. I'm simply going to call this newsletter form. Now if you have a paid MailChimp account, this means that you can create and manage multiple audiences. And audiences within MailChimp is just another name for email list. So as you can see down here, we only have access to one email list because we're just using a free MailChimp account. However, like I mentioned, if you're using a paid MailChimp account and you have multiple email lists, go ahead and select the email list that you wanna send your new subscribers to when they sign up to this form. 
then go ahead and click add new form and congratulations just like that you've created your first form now if we navigate up here we can go ahead and change the name of our form if we like below this we have the short code that we can use to embed on our website we can display the form inside a post page or text widget and we'll show you how to do that shortly once we've finished customizing all our settings for our form then if we navigate down here to form fields these are the different form fields that we can add to our form. Below this we have the form code. This is the code of our form. Then over on the right hand side we have a form preview. This is how our form is going to look. So the first thing we want to do is add a first name. To do that we're going to go ahead and add the first name form field. Now the first thing that we want to do is customize the field label. At the moment it's going to display first name. We can change this if we like. I'm happy with first name. Then below that we have placeholder text. And then we can add an initial value. We're going to leave that out. But we also want to make sure that this field is required. And then we're going to come down and click add to form. And as you can see we have first name and email address. Now as you can see with the first name I've got a capital for first and a capital for name. Down here I've got a capital for email but I do not have a capital for address. What I can do is navigate over to address here and change this to a capital A. And then we have the placeholder text in here, your first name, your email address. We can go ahead and change that if we like. Now if you require your subscribers to add anything else you can go ahead and add those fields if you like. For example last name, street address, city, state, zip, country, phone number and any of these other form fields if you like. However because this is just a basic newsletter form we want to keep it as simple as possible for our visitors to fill out. So we're just going to keep the first name and the email address. Then once you've made any changes, navigate down to the bottom and click save changes. Now what we want to do is navigate over to messages. These are the form messages that you can customize the way that you like. So for example, the successful subscribed. So when a form has been submitted and has been successful, this is the message that will appear for your visitors to see that the form has been submitted successfully. And then you have other messages down here that you can customize if you like. Invalid email address, you can add the message you want your visitors to see if they add their email wrong and then you have others down here. We're going to keep these all as default for now and then navigate over to settings. Under form settings you can navigate down and customize these settings the way that you like. At the moment we have the right list selected. Below that we're going to keep use double opt-in selected which is recommended. We're going to keep update existing subscribers as no. Below this we have subscriber tag. So these are the tags that will be applied to all your subscribers through this specific form. So for example if this form you only had on a specific page on your website and maybe it was only for subscribers that were interested in a specific topic, then you can add that topic as a tag. So tags are used to associate or identify your specific subscribers. So I'm not going to add any tags for now and then navigate down. You can go ahead and hide the form after a successful sign up if you like. You can also redirect to a different URL after a successful sign up. So for example, if a visitor signs up, they become a subscriber, you can then send them to another website page if you like. However, we're not going to change any of these and then navigate over to appearance. Under appearance, this is where we can change the form style. I'm going to click here and come down and click blue theme. And then click save changes. Now if I navigate back over to fields, you can see down here under form preview, this is how my form will look. Now you can even customize your form even further in terms of the form style, font, colors and more. However we're not going to talk about that in this tutorial as this is just a beginner's tutorial. Okay so now what we're going to do is embed this form on our website. To do that simply navigate up to this shortcode over here and then simply copy this shortcode. 
Now, let's say that I want to embed this newsletter form onto a post on my website. What I would do is simply navigate over to posts and then click on all posts and then click on the post that I want to add this form to. And all I would do is navigate down to the bottom of this post and then using Gutenberg, all I would do is come down and simply paste in the short code. And that's automatically going to add that short code. Then what I would do is go ahead and update and then preview what the new form will look like on our post. If we scroll down, you can see that we have the new form down here that we just created. And you can do the same on all your different website pages or using a visual page builder like Divi or Elementor. Now, if we navigate back up to the top, now you can see that we have a right sidebar. What we can also do is embed this form on every post within this right sidebar. So by using a widget, and every time that a post is created, as well as all our older posts, the form will always appear on this right hand side. So to embed our new form, our newsletter form, into the right side of our posts, all we would do is simply navigate back to our dashboard, then navigate down the right hand side and locate appearances, then simply come down and click on widgets. And this is where we can add the form onto our sidebar. So if we navigate down the page and we want to add our form below category. So what we would do is click this plus icon and then select short code. And like I showed you earlier, all you need to do is paste in that short code and then navigate up to the top right hand corner and click update. Now you can also do the same with your footer area if you like. So for example, within your footer, you can also add the short code so that this form appears on every website page in the footer. However, what we're gonna do now is head back to the post and show you what our form will look like in the right hand sidebar. And just like that, over on the right hand side in our sidebar, you can see that we have our form. And because we added the short code as a widget, this form will appear in the same spot in the right hand sidebar for all our future and past posts. Okay, so let's quickly test our new form and see if the subscriber is going to be added to our email list inside MailChimp. Go ahead and add a name, then add an email address that's different to the email address that you use to sign up to MailChimp then come down and click sign up and as you can see here's the success message thank you your sign up request was successful please check your email inbox to confirm and remember you can customize this message if you like and because we added two-step opt-in each subscriber has to confirm so i'm going to quickly jump into my email and confirm this email and then log into mailchimp to see if this information has been added to our email list and as you can see, this is what the two-step opt-in email will look like. If you enabled this option, then each of your subscribers need to click yes, subscribe me to the list. Then confirm humanity and then subscribe. And then your subscribers will be directed here. Again, like I mentioned, you can turn off this two-step opt-in if you like. However, it is recommended that you do keep this enabled. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is head back into my MailChimp account and see if this person has been subscribed. And just like that, you can see that this person has been subscribed successfully. If we navigate across, this is through the API connection that we enabled. And then you can see the date and time when this contact was added. And congratulations, just like that, you have now learned how to connect MailChimp to your WordPress website so that you can start building your email list and capturing your visitors' contact information when they arrive on your website. And there we have it guys for today's brief tutorial guiding you through how to connect WordPress and MailChimp together. Now, if you have any questions about this process, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.